Neil Miller from Scotland, United Kingdom, has been living in Guyana for years. He is the program coordinator for the South Rupununi Conservation Society, a non-government organization that has been sustaining and protecting wildlife in the Rupununi. The organization was established in 2002 by a group of friends who saw the decline in wildlife in the Rupununi. I am originally from um, Scotland in the United Kingdom. Um, I came to Guyana as a, a volunteer teacher in 2013 and I fell in love with a beautiful Rupununi girl and now here I am um, back in Guyana um, working with South Rupununi citizen as me and my um, wife were married when I came back to Guyana. He is the lead author for the second book published by the organization, A Basic Guide to the Mammals of the Rupununi. The Wapachan and Makushi languages were also incorporated in the book, and Neil explains why. As generations get older, the younger generations, the language is not being um, passed on to them for a number of reasons. And with this, um, included in this is the, the low ferment, the, the species of wildlife. And while some of them have been recorded in the dictionary, it only has the local name. It doesn't have the um, English translation. So if these generations pass away, well, that knowledge is, is gone with them forever and you might never get it back. Um, so that's why we saw it was so important to record this information while uh, we still have our village elders who have this information um, so we can preserve it for future generations to come. The books are only being distributed to local villages. Only 300 copies were made, but the response has been overwhelming of how many persons want to get their hand on a copy. The organization has been collecting scientific data on the red siskin, an endangered species found in Guyana, and more recently the organization has expanded its work to monitor river turtles and giant anteaters. You know that we, we live in Guyana. Um, you might go from community to community and we don't actually realize the diversity and um, um, wide range of species that we actually have here. So for example, when you go to, to a, a community, um, you ask them, what cats do we have in the Rupununi? They might only know a household cat and a jaguar. But really, we have margay, ancilla, jagarundi, ocelot, puma. And they might know, not know all of them. Um, all these species exist. In recent years, the SRCS have also developed an environmental education curriculum that follows the school year. Teachers or persons from 13 indigenous villages teach students once per week. Um, currently, we are teaching this curriculum in 13 communities to over, I think it's now over 500 students we've reached with it. And next year, we hope to expand to 16 schools and reach over 600 students. Neil explained that there seems to be a belief that the younger generation are not interested in learning skills from the older generation, such as spinning, weaving and making hammocks. So the organization, which is funded by the Sustainable Wildlife Management Program, have decided to fund training to teach 30 young youths from each village these skills. And it's actually been such a success that when we posted the, the crafts that these students have made, um, that there was a big response online to people wanting to buy them. So we actually partnered with um, uh, a business in Georgetown who's very um, generous to reach out to us and give us a corner in their store. To sell the crafts. The organization will continue to preserve the indigenous language for future generations and train rangers in sustainable management of wildlife. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.